God bless you. Greetings. We cover you one more time. The servant of Jesus Christ giving you the words of Christ. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is alive and is on the right hand of the Father. He came into the world to take away all your sin, all of them. Christ came to take them away. He came to make you perfect. Hallelujah and, 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 to God. And relations to conscience. You know your conscience ain't clear when you saying you got sin. You know your conscience is not clear when you saying ain't nobody perfect. You know your conscience ain't clear when you say we sin every day, we fall short every day. Your conscience ain't clear and you admit it. You admit your wrong. I'm not talking about you do you did way back in the past. I talk present. What you doing presently? You doing this thing presently. And you continue with that. You refuse to repent. And, and as refer as conscience concerned in the tenth chapter of Hebrew, it said that those sacrifices which they did year by year or yearly never could make the comma there unto perfect as pertaining the conscience. Is your conscience clear? You you can't say well I got sin ain't nobody got sin ain't nobody without sin ain't nobody perfect if your conscience is clear you can't say that. When your conscience is clear, you, you, you don't admit guilt when your conscience is clear. You don't admit guilt when you're not doing when you're not guilty. Ha, 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 ha. Hey. Glory to God. Glory to God. In the ninth chapter of the book of Matthew, I believe along about 13 months, Jesus said, if you had known what this means, I would have mercy and not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the guiltless. Let's get that whack on it. Matthew 9, 13. I didn't plan to go here. Matthew 9, 13. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh. Matthew 9, 13. Look at what Jesus said. Jesus said, Go ye and learn what this meant. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not called to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. All right. Let go of Mark. Let's pick it up in Mark. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a another part about the guiltless. Get Mark chapter 2. And 17. They that are hold these non positions, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repent. Okay, I, we need to pick that up. We need to pick that up somewhere else. We need to pick that up somewhere. I want to be, give me the book of it. Give me the book of Luke. Luke 5, 31. Luke 5, 31. I, I had no plan on going here, but God, the Lord, the way he's doing. Hallelujah. Luke 5, 31. The Holy Ghost know what he's doing. He bring all things back. You'll remember whatever Jesus said. If that's the word of God, you speak and train to the word of God, preacher, you blaspheme in the Holy Ghost.
Okay. Let me just let me pull it up. You speak against the word of God, you blaspheme the Holy Ghost preacher. If you had known what this means, you would not have con condemned the guiltless. Matthew 12 and 7. Matthew 12 and 7. Hallelujah. And I meant for them to, this to be a good, a quick way. <laughs> but the Lord knows. Matthew 12 and 7. Here it is. 6 and 1. This is what they tried to condemn Jesus for, for eating, plucking corn on the Sabbath day. Look what Jesus said. But I said to you that in this place it is one greater than the temple. But if you had known what this means, I would have mercy not sacrifice. You know you brought sacrifice to a temple. But Jesus said one greater than the temple is here. <laughs> and he won't have sacrifice. You would not have condemned the, the guiltless. Because they would follow the law and give a sacrifice. Jesus disciples. They were plugging corn. In the 12th chapter. Said one law will do. Watch this. Now that was true. It was not lawful to do. Go back in the Old Testament. It was not lawful to do. You do all your work on. on before the Sabbath. You do all your work before the Sabbath. It was somebody picking up sticks and God told Moses to kill him. Uh, then Jesus came all along and, 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 and really expired up on the Sabbath day, 12th chapter of Matthew. Condemned Jesus and his disciples. And they, and they were guiltless. If they were living by the law. All right. You speak against the scripture preacher. You blaspheme it. It's something else I want to get to God though. Hallelujah. Now. In. in oh, oh. Look at the 10th chapter of the book of Hebrews. Your conscience ain't clear. And we might do a separate post on that. Your conscience ain't clear. And you admit it. We all got to it. Your conscience ain't clear. It say the law. Praise God. Praise God. Matter of fact, let, 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 let. Well. Let me go find the leader of the logo. Those sacrifices. Made none perfect and pertain to conscience. Cause they know they still had sin. Uh huh. Now, if in every year when they offer sacrifice, every time they offer sacrifice, they were reminded of their sin. This is why you do it, because of sin. Those things could never take away sin. Hebrew chapter 10. Then go to Hebrew chapter 7. You blaspheme the Holy Ghost. You say God still required the law, your tithes and all you blaspheme in the Holy Ghost. And we showed that on yesterday. Look at our tape from yesterday. We showed that God know with scripture. In the ninth chapter of the book of Hebrew. Praise God. 
You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come on you. Power, you shall be witnesses unto me. They be witnesses about Christ. Now if you say anything but that against what Christ said, you blaspheme the Holy Ghost. If you say so and see for a miracle, you blaspheme it. The Bible says when the, when the covenant comes, he will reprove the world of sin. I think I can pause this. All right. Scripture says when the, Holy, when the covenant comes, he's going to reprove the world of sin. Uh-huh. He will reprove the world of sin. John 16, 8. When, when, when the covenant call. John 16, 8. Don't you speak against the Holy Ghost. John 16, 8. Oh, 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 oh. John 16 <laughs> 16 said nevertheless I tell you too it just be for you that I go away for if I go not away to come the will I come unto you but if I depart I will send him to you and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin how do he reprove the world of sin? Through the preacher. Through witnesses. You shall be witnesses unto me. You shall receive power out of the Holy Ghost coming upon you. And the righteousness and the judgment. And that's through the preacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell you to repent of your sin. Holy Ghost tell you to repent of your sin. In Luke 24, 47, Jesus said, and that repentance. Every bit of sin, she'll be preaching his name among all nations, but get it at Jerusalem. The Holy Ghost gives the preacher to preach. The New Testament, the law, repentance, remission of sin. Jesus would. If you speak a trade to that, preaching your blasphemy. Of sin. Because they believe me not. Uh huh. Don't let you know you're wrong. You don't believe Christ. Praise God. You didn't come to Christ. Jesus say, if anyone do it, John 3 20, everyone do it, evil, hate the light, need to come to the light, lest their deed be approved. You stay away from Christ. A judge because the prince of the world is judged. The Holy Ghost will tell you about Jim. Yeah. All right, you call that go to my father and you see me no more. All right, going to tell you about Jesus and he'll be resurrected. Without that, there is no right. And he's alive. See, uh, see, how do we do all that? How, how, how you know about all that? Through the preacher. Well, how can they hear without a preacher? My God, well, man, this is good. When you speak against the Holy Ghost, preacher preach the truth, and you don't like it. When the preacher preach against false doctrine, Jesus said, beware of all prophets. When, uh, Jesus said, that hour, when, when, when they uh, uh, capture you or get you before the council or before the judgment, hallelujah, Jesus said, take no thought what you're going to say, but the Holy Ghost in that same hour will give you what to say. And then give it to the preacher. Witness it. And they witness everywhere. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Preach everywhere. Now you stand against it. You stand against repentance. You stand against remission of sin. You stand against divine healing. Uh, without no money. Without sowing no seed. You preach the law still required. God still required tithe law. 
You blaspheming the Holy Ghost preacher. All right. You understand. All right, let me go here. Timothy 1. Timothy, I'm sorry. Yeah, Timothy 1. In 18. This time I commit unto thee, son, Timothy, according to the promise that went, went on before thee, that thou mightest make war, a good warfare. Uh, we are at war with the devil. Holding faith and a good conscience. A good conscience which some have put away concerning the faith, concerning the faith have made shit ready. They put away the good conscience. Now they preaching they got, everybody got sin. Now they going back to sin. Well, I ain't sin. Yes, you are. You say you saw a seed for a miracle, you're sin. And all, and all the other sins that you went back and started doing. You say ain't nobody without sin, you're sinning. Of whom is Hymenus and Alexander, whom I delivered unto Satan that they may learn not to blaspheme. And you're going to learn it too. Tell you so, woe be, woe be unto your hand, Paul, when the word of God stop coming to you. Woe be, woe be, when the word of God stop coming to you. Woe be, woe be unto you. All right, all right, hallelujah. Going to give you all over what you want to do. You ran to do it. You won't do it. You continue to blaspheme. It, it, it's a, it, it, it's a, I, I, it, it, it's people I've talked to and have preached to and have given a word to. And they continue to rise up and preach against the scripture. Blaspheme the Holy Ghost. I pay up no back. May God have mercy on your soul. May you repent for it ever last too late. I pay up no mind. I'm not going back and forth with you. Once I give you the word of God, you blaspheme every time you preach, preacher, saints, Every time you get it, a false prophet money line. Every time you say a false prophet is a servant of God, a true servant of God. Every time you say your bishop is a great leader, you know he ain't. You know he disobeyed to the word of God. You know he's not walking up right according to the scripture. And Paul had to confront Timothy. I mean, he had to confront Peter and Barnabas. He said, I saw they walk not up right according to the scripture. That's the same thing I saw with y'all. When we speak against false doctrine and you get upset and you speak against her, you blaspheme the Holy Ghost. Thank you for being.